of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. <laughs> Hello there, boys and girls. Today's story is one that ought to keep you guessing right up to the very end. It did us, I know that. We were all involved in it one way or another, Stumpy and Gray Wolf and even Henry. It was one of those times when you absolutely can't believe what you see and can't believe what you hear, and you end up wondering what to believe. It all happened not so very long ago out in the state of Utah in what is called the Badlands. The Badlands is the name the earliest explorers gave to this part of our country because it was just exactly that, bad. Just rocks and bare, windswept mountains and sand and dust, no water or hardly any, and mighty few trees and bushes. A miserable place no matter how you looked at it. But that's where this adventure took place. I call it One Million Years Ago. A million years. A million years. That's what they are. A million years old. Watch. Watch where? Oh, Morgan, the cliff. The cliff over there. The most perfect cliff in the world. Hundreds of feet high. Nearly a mile long. And almost perfectly flat. Straight up and down, smooth, grayish white rock. Get the idea, Morgan? Get the idea? Yeah, well, no. I can't say I do. Maybe, maybe you'd better go over it again, slow. Oh, Morgan, you wear me out. You wear me out. Well, but Mr. Vallandingham... Don't talk, Morgan. Please don't talk. Just watch. Now watch. And listen. Now listen. And don't keep repeating everything I say. You make me nervous. Okay, Mr. Vallandingham. Are you ready now? Uh, yes, Mr. Vallandingham. Uh, what do you want me to do? Good. Now just watch. That's all. Okay. Now. Now be quiet. Don't move. Just watch. Over there at the cliff. They'll be along in a minute. You can hear them now, but you can't see them. You will, though. You will. Oh, my. Kind of spooky. All them funny-looking trees with them big, fat leaves. Mesozoic vegetation. Authentic to the very last detail. Oh, I never see such trees. Of course not. Ah, uh, now they're beginning to stir. Here comes the first one. Isn't he a beaut? Scampering along there like a great big rabbit. See him? Yeah. Well, only he looks more like a horse to me. Kind of a half rabbit and half horse. Of course. He's Eohippus. The two-toed horse. The great Great, great, great grandfather of old Dobbin. See him scamper. Here comes the rest of his family. Uh, looks like they're scared of something, like me. Yes. Looking up into the air. No wonder. Here it comes. Black, glistening wings. Oh, like polished patent leather. Exactly. Those claws, those talons, that beak. And a 40-foot wing spread. It's flying right over them little horses, them uh, uh, hippie hippahooses. It, it sees them. It's diving. Oh, dear. But it sees them. They see it, too. They can run under those low-hanging trees. There they go. Oh, good. And there he goes. Back over the mountain. The world's first bird of prey. The pterodactyl. Oh, I'm glad he didn't see them little horses. Hey, what's that? Cephalodon. He's like a monstrous bear. But a bear with scales instead of fur. Yeah. I never see such animals. Now, what's that? Diplodocus. And over there by those tall trees is a megatherum. He weighs 20,000 pounds, but he wouldn't hurt a flea. Just the same. Uh, 
Hey, now there's some animals. I know what they are. They're elephants. No, no, Morgan. Those aren't elephants. They look like elephants, but they're not. Did you ever see elephants with heavy coats of long brown hair? They're already strong. And with tusks 25 feet long. Tusks so long and heavy, they have to slide them along the ground. Uh, no, uh, come to think of it, I didn't. I can't say I have, but if uh, they're main elephants, what are they? They're mammoths, Morgan. Great, hairy mammoths. Well, hey, there's a baby mammoth. My goodness, I never thought I could be a baby one of them things. But there it is. Uh, yes, but, uh, oh, oh my. Well, Mr. Philandingham, do you see what I see? Certainly. The largest animal that ever lived. The largest. The dear old Gigantosaurus. Sixty feet long if he's an inch. Well, that neck of his must be twenty feet long. Longer. Well, he'll probably eat them, them mammoths up at one gulp. Gigantosaurus? Not him. Big as he is, all he eats is grass. Him? Right. Well, then they're mammoths. Well, they know he ain't dangerous. Well, they ain't even moving out of his way. Look at him bump into them, poking his head around. Like, he looks as though he ain't got much sense. He hasn't. With all that size, his brain isn't as big as... As an orange. Well, just the same. I, 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 I. What's the matter, Morgan? Oh. Coming up the valley. That, 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 that what? That, 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 that terrible, terrible monster. Yes, Morgan. Here he comes. King of the prehistoric world. The fiercest, most dangerous animal that ever walked the face of the earth. Oh, them, them, them teeth, them long things, them, them horny scales, them, them, them ravening jaws. Hey. Hey! Yes? It, it looks like he's gonna... He, he's gonna attack one of them gig, giganticists and, and and it looks like the, the giganticist is, is gonna fight back. Of course, he's fighting for his life and he knows it. Tyrannosaurus Rex is a carnivore, a meat-eater. And with, those, with his tremendous size and strength, his fangs, he's the most dreadful and terrifying and horrible creature to ever walk the face of the earth. And there he is. Right in plain sight. Oh, he's getting closer. Can't you stop it? I can, but I won't. Oh, there they go. Oh, look at them. Why? What's the name of that tune? Ah, glad you asked me that, Henry. Uh, and the name of that tune is I wonder where Bill and Grey Wolf went with all them picks and shovels and spy glasses early in the morning because <laughs> it's too hot today to do much but sit around the shade and drink lemonade. <laughs> Brother, I made some lemonade just in case. Here you are. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Henry. Thank you. Say, uh, are Bill and Grey Wolf around? Yeah, I think I see him come in a while back. Uh, Hey, look, tired's a couple of coyotes has been chasing jackrabbits. Yeah, yeah, here they be. Oh. How oh, yourself and see how you like it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill, have any luck? Oh, we got a lot of fresh air, that's about all. <laughs> Where have you been, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, we don't mind. We go hunting. Well, hunting? This time of year? Well, there's nothing to hunt. Well, it depends on what you hunt for. Oh? Uh, this time we not hunt for deer, bear, antelope usual kind of game. Well, then, what kind of game did you hunt for? Dinosaurs. What? Dinosaurs? Uh-huh. What on earth are you... Oh, uh, yeah, I get it. You were out on an expedition, sort of, looking for dinosaur bones. No, not dinosaur bones. Dinosaur. Uh, say, Gray, well, this is a fiercely hot day, and you've been right out in it, right in the sun. Are you sure you feel all right? I feel fine. But... <laughs> But, but Maybe but, I better but, explain before you explode, but, Henry. But, 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 Henry <laughs> sounds like a motorboat. <laughs> Maybe you better let Bill explain. Well, it's like this. Uh, we have been out hunting dinosaurs, oh, no. pal. Oh, not you too, Bill. I can't stand it. Yeah? Dinosaurs, all right. But the last of the dinosaurs died a million years ago. Yeah, we know. And that's what makes this such a strange assignment. Henry, for several weeks now, or oh, maybe a couple of months, we kept on getting the weirdest reports from up in the Badlands. Oh, that's where those scientists and expeditions keep digging up those old dinosaur bones. Mm -hmm. 
Up in that big, flat valley, the one that has a tremendous cliff all along one side? Uh, is that where you mean? Yeah, exactly. And if the reports we've been getting just were about dinosaur bones, that wouldn't have meant anything at all. But these reports, these reports, yes. Henry, have all been about live dinosaurs. What? Well, we look for tracks. No tracks there, but ground dry and hard, rocky, much wind. Tracks would get blown away fast. Couldn't find a sign of anything out of the ordinary. Two men up there, they haven't seen anything. Two men? Oh, prospectors? No, gold up there. More than likely, them are bone diggers, scientific fellers. Uh, archaeologists? Paleontologists? That's what I said. Huh. Yeah, they're up there looking for specimens. Yeah, plenty of old bones there. Mm-hmm. Even showed us some that they'd unearthed. But no live dinosaurs? Nope, just bones. Do you mean to say all these different people saw these live dinosaurs in broad daylight? No, no, they didn't. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe you've given us some sort of a clue as to what's going on up there, Henry. All the people that saw the dinosaurs moving around saw them on a moonlit night. <laughs> the Badlands. No wonder they call her that. Seems like there's somebody digging here all the time. Lots of them big colleges dug here, the Harvards and the Yales, all them fellers, bone diggers. Oh, it's a mighty big valley. Used to be a marsh, Bill said. Yeah, dry as a bone now, though. <laughs> dry as a bone, I said. Nothing but bones here now. I said she's dry as a bone. Joe, get it? I got it. Hey, hey, Henry. Something's moving down there. You, you see the dust swirling around? Yeah. Oh, it's those two paleontologists. Yeah. The camp's down there. Say, let's pay them a visit. Well, uh, uh, sure, why not? It's plumb downhill all the way. Let's go. Of course, if we go downhill now, that means when we come back, uh, she's going to be uphill every single solitary step. Come on, Morgan, get on your feet, look alive. Grab one of those shovels. Got to pretend to be digging. Well, what for? We're getting company, that's why. Come on, get up. Hi there. Hi. You'll find us hard at work. Come on, get busy and dig, Morgan. Seems like a pretty hot day to be digging. Well, we scientists are taught not to mind the weather. Let me introduce myself. My name is Valandingham. Carteret Valandingham. This is my assistant, Morgan. Hi. Oh, my name's Henry, and this is Stumpy. Uh, nice to meet you. Show our guests some of our uh, recent finds. Uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, it's uh, here. Wow. Sure is a big thing. Uh, what is it? Uh, maybe I should say, what was it? Why, uh, it's... Why, it's a, it's a find. Uh, we haven't been able to classify it just as yet, uh... Isn't that right, Morgan? Oh, right, Mr. Valandingham. Yeah, plenty of them bones here, that's for sure. Yes. I know a great many scientific expeditions have been here. A rich field. A very rich field. Of course. Uh, all they found was bones. What do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, you ain't seen any live dinosaurs, have you? Why, no. No, of course not. Live dinosaurs? That's ridiculous. That's absurd. Whatever gave you that idea? Yeah, it ain't my idea. Uh, lots of folks have been telling it around that uh, they saw live dinosaurs right here in this here valley, uh, right here. Preposterous. Uh, are you digging into the, uh, the Pleistocene, the Jurassic, or the Mesozoic strata? Well, well uh, right, right now we're, uh, right now we're digging in the, in, in the... You tell him, Morgan. A what? No, well... Oh, uh, we, I see. Um, uh, excuse me, you really didn't want to tell, huh? Because you're on the track of something special, and so it's uh, something that's a secret. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. Uh, it's a secret, all right. Uh, you, you understand oh. how it is. Sure, I shouldn't have asked. Uh, well, Stumpy, let's go. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Vlandingham, uh, Mr. Morgan. Uh, so long. Oh. We'll, uh, we'll let you know if we see any live dinosaurs. So long. Yeah! I can imagine. Uh, Henry, 
There's something about them fellers that don't ring true. Uh-huh. One thing, two things, really. They didn't even know what kind of a bone that was they'd found. Yep. They didn't seem to know any of those scientific terms I asked about. The stuff we learned in school. Yep. But what I noticed was their hands. Their hands? A prospector or a scientist or anybody that digs all day is going to have calluses on their hands. And them fellers' hands was smooth as silk. They never dug up no bones, no where, no how, no sheree. Two more people come here today, plenty scared. Yeah? See dinosaurs last night. Green ones, gray ones, and, and red mammoths. They, they mentioned the colors? Yep, mentioned the colors. Why'd you ask that? Uh, say, Bill, them bone diggers we seen, uh, like I say, they ain't dug up nothing, never. Yeah, that's right, Bill. Yeah? Uh, gray Wolf, I think you and I should pay another call to Mr. Vallandigham and Mr. Morgan. Well, Any time. Uh, you get any information on either one from Washington? Oh, nothing. Landingham has been a promoter of various projects, real estate mostly, and Morgan has had a series of odd jobs, sort of a drifter. Stumpy's right, I think. Whatever they are or whatever they're up to, they certainly aren't bona fide paleontologists. How come they not see dinosaurs? They're right there. On the spot. And plenty of people see dinosaurs. But not them. I wish I could see some. Some dinosaurs. Oh, me too. Uh, likewise. Hey, Bill. Uh, what, Henry? I'm sitting here looking right at that calendar on the wall behind your desk. Mm -hmm. And why, it's the kind that shows the changes of the moon. And, and she's going to be a full moon tonight. Hey, Stumpy. Yep. Let's you and I go back there again. <laughs> So, what's the matter, Bill? Storm warning, Gray Wolf. I've been waiting for it. All this hot weather, drought, low pressure area on the way, and fast. Oh, that means sandstorm this time of year. Yeah, be a bad one, or I miss my guess. Well, we've had our warnings out for three days now. Hey, we could visit her. Look like she's in a hurry. Mm -hmm. No good run so fast on such a hot day. Uh, come in. You the forest ranger? We got something to report. You told us there were dinosaurs. Live ones in the valley where we've been digging. Mm -hmm. We didn't believe you, but we got her now. Look here at these pictures I took. Pictures? Yeah, tracks. Hundreds of them. The sand's been drifting pretty deep lately, so we could see tracks. Look here. Giant three-toned feet. Big claw up behind. There, see? Yeah. And look, that jagged furrow in between the foot tracks. Just like the kind of mark that would be made by a big, dragging, scaly tail. I took these pictures this morning. They're proof. Proof that there are live dinosaurs in that valley. And show them the pictures of the bushes. Oh, yeah. Look here. See the chaparral and mesquite bushes all cut mm -hmm. down? But cut down raggedy. Mm. Cut down in sweeps. Cut down by the stroke of a horny, scaly tail. Well, aren't you going to say anything? Uh, you seem to be doing all the talking, Mr. Vallanigan. This, uh... Evidence certainly seems indisputable, but uh, even so, I'd like to go out to that valley and see for myself. Uh, see if perhaps I might even catch a glimpse of those uh, living dinosaurs. Good. And then if you did, why, you'd, uh, you'd tell everybody. Hmm? What's that? Well, uh, I, I mean that, that everybody would, would know about the dinosaurs if you saw them officially. If I did see any live dinosaurs, I'd make my regular report in the usual way. However, the whole matter will have to wait for a few days. Why? We've had urgent storm warnings. What appears to be a very severe, even dangerous sandstorm is headed this way. I suggest you and your partner stay in a hotel in town until it blows over. What? Leave all... I, I mean, well, we, we have all sorts of, uh, of scientific equipment out there. We have to uh, take care of it. Isn't that correct, Morgan? Uh, yeah, uh, th that there scientific junk is mighty tricky. So uh, thank you for your advice, Mr. Ranger, but we'll have to hurry back. Just a little puff of wind and a few grains of sand can detour the true scientific attitude. I have given you the formal warning. I can't very well arrest you and detain you, but you should not go. Uh, Mr. Ranger, we scientists just have to protect our, uh, our, uh... uh investment. Well, not exactly, but that's the general idea. Come along, Morgan. Come along. 
Uh, Mr. Vlanigan, uh, wait a minute. They gone, Bill. Gone fast. Yeah. Well, Grey Wolf, I guess they just didn't believe me. No. They're men of mystery, Grey Wolf. Somehow or other, I think that they have the key to this whole affair of those live dinosaurs. But just how they fit in is more than I can figure out. However, right now, my real concern is the weather. That sandstorm hits, Vlanigan and Morgan and the dinosaurs are going to be in trouble. Real trouble. <laughs> What's the matter? You keep staring up at the sky, Stumpy. There's nothing up there. I don't like the looks of her, Henry, and that's a fact. Uh, see how she's got that sickly yellow color? Well, yeah. Not to mention it. In the old time, we'll tell you that when the sky is yellow like that, it means a storm's brewing. <laughs> Who's afraid of a rainstorm? This ain't no rainstorm, Henry. It's a sandstorm. Stumpy, we've come all the way over to this valley again to see if we could see those live dinosaurs. Well, I'd sure hate to turn around and go back now just because the sky is a funny color. Come on, let's look for dinosaurs. What's the matter with you? Oh, uh, nothing, I guess. Well, get busy. The sky's clouding over, getting dark. It's got that funny yellow color. This ought to be a good time to see some dinosaurs. Well, let's go. Well, I don't like the looks of things. Well, who asked you? Get ready now. You and I are going to see some dinosaurs. If anybody else that happens to be anywhere in this valley will see them too. Oh, <laughs> what's the matter, Morgan? What's the matter? You scared? I, I just don't like it, that's all. I don't like any part of it. Way out here in the desert and, 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 and these dinosaurs. Oh, 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 for a grown man, Morgan, you act like a mighty scared one. Oh, tell me you're getting afraid of those dinosaurs. Mr. Blandingham, I, I just don't... What was that? Nothing but a puff of wind. Buck up, get ready. We're going to see some dinosaurs. Sure is getting dark. You see the clouds piling up there in the west? It's still afternoon, but almost dark as night. Yep. Say... There's that big, flat cliff they all talked about, where everybody saw the dinosaurs. We're almost there. Yeah. Let's not go no closer. If them dinosaurs is around, I ain't hankering to get anywhere. <laughs> Henry, take a look. Take a look. I am looking. And I see them too, Stumpy. If they are right over there by that cliff, they're just where everybody said they'd be. Dinosaurs! What are we going to do now? Uh, I don't know. You, you, you can even hear them bellowing and roaring. Look at that big feather floundering along there Stop now. Me. Let's get out of here as fast as we can. We're sooner said than done. Feet about face. Now, Henry, let's get out of here. Sandmobiles, heavy tires, small windows, sealed the course. Each of these trucks is equipped with compass and radio and radar. The only way in the world you can get a bow during a sandstorm like this one. I hope we find Henry and Stumpy. Well, we'll find them all right. I've been praying that we'll find them soon. Look, Bill. A hmm? speck on radar screen. Good. Watch close, Grey Wolf. 
Hill. I think I see a mound in the sand. Yeah? Another mound. It, it wave at us. Bill, it's Henry and Stumpy. They're safe. Great. Now all we have to do is find those two fake scientists. <laughs> Mr. Forest Ranger, I cannot, simply cannot thank you enough. The storm's over now, but the fact remains, you saved our lives. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Well, for one thing, Mr. Vallanigan, you might explain the meaning of that movie projector we found what? buried in the sand. Movie projector? Yeah. Well, sir, I see I might as well tell you everything. Mm-hmm. The fact is... I'm a real estate agent. I'm... Desert. Sort of a health resort. I had a scheme to make this place popular. I spent years and years with little models of dinosaurs, moving each one an eighth of an inch at a time. I see. Slowly, slowly photographing each tiny model in color. Until at last, I had a movie of what looked like real dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I made up a sound effect recording. Then, when at night, I projected the fake dinosaur movie on that flat cliff and played the amplified recording. Anybody would think at first glance he was seeing a real, life-size dinosaur. The uh, tracks in the sand? Oh, those. Those I made with big claws made out of lumber. I wired them to the rims of our Jeep and dragged an anchor behind to look like the marks made by a giant clawed and tailed animal. Uh -huh. Cut down trees with a ragged scythe to look like the blows of a scaly tail. But what was the idea? Well, I thought we could get, to get the people to talking about the valley. And then they would want to come here. And then when I built my motel, it would be a success. Well, I can't see that you have committed any serious crime, Mr. Vallanigan. But you have caused some of us a lot of worry. I know. And I know this. If I had believed you when you warned me about the sandstorm, well, it's taught me one thing. The good people are the people you can believe. I'm through with fakes. I want to learn how to be one of those kind of people you can believe. I want to quit being a flimsy faker and get to know how to be honest. How do I go about doing it? You really want to know? Of course I do. Well, it's like this. There's just one important thing you have to know and accept and believe. Once you've done that, then all the rest comes along just as naturally and easily. <laughs> Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger and girls, this is Ranger Bill back again for just a third of a minute with an extra word of thanks to you for joining us today. Hope you'll team up with the Rangers every week at this time when your local station gives us this chance to get together. See you then. Your station for inspirational music, WKES 102 FM Stereo, St. Petersburg and WGNB 152 on the AM band, Indian Rocks. Here at Keswick Radio, we try to have a balanced ministry. There are programs to reach the unsaved and programs for God's children. In the Bible, we read that God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed toward his name in that you have ministered to the saints. This is an important part of the ministry of Keswick Radio. You can have a part in reaching the lost and also be a blessing to God's children by sharing with us in the daily expenses 
of Broadcasting the Word of God. That mailing address, Keswick Radio, St. Petersburg, 33708. Do you know the trees praise God? And so do the animals. And you can too by joining us in this next song. 